Hey everyone, Canadian Trucker here. May the 4th, we're in uh, Lancaster, Ontario. Just outside of Montreal, heading in there tomorrow, pick up a load of pipe for Edmonton. Went in to uh, get a shower, that was good. Asked if there was a restaurant, and the old man said, no, not since the COVID. Okay, so I was planning on doing a gun dog challenge and I was trying to figure out which ration I wanted to gun dog. And um, I got thinking about what I had in my truck and this popped into my mind. I bet you that'd be a damn good ration to gun dog. But I ate like cat food yesterday in that shitty French ration. That well, wasn't shitty, but the pate was. So I'm gonna actually just eat this. I'm gonna let you guys decide which ration I'm gonna gun dog. I'm gonna give you three choices. So first off, we got my favorite, beef stew. And I know you guys have been dying to see me review a beef stew. So why not just gun dog it? Beef stew. We got tuna, tuna chunk light with lemon pepper. If it wasn't for the lemon pepper, which I love on fish, this tuna menu wouldn't be bad, but that lemon pepper's so damn strong in this menu. But if that's what you want, leave a comment down below. And we're probably gonna do it next weekend or the weekend after. And thirdly, creamy spinach fettuccine. I know Mrs. Trucker's gonna be voting for this, so she doesn't have to eat this. But if you don't wanna see me eat this and would rather see Mrs. Trucker eat it, don't vote for this. I forget what else is even in this damn menu, but it's probably gonna be a tough one. And lastly, my favorite MRE of all time, menu number four of the Lithuanians. Um, yeah. So what do you guys wanna see me gun dog? We're gonna do this as much as we don't want to. Um, yeah. Anywho. I have something decent. This was given to me by Mr. Jordan from JNK Noob. He, uh, when him and I ate pizza there in Idaho a few weeks ago, he brought this for me. And I see he's got it from foreignmre.com. And uh, yeah, should be fresh. I'm guessing it's a 2018, 2019, made by Warnick. I bought probably five cases of these things in the past few years and they've all been made by Warnick. So I'm kind of thinking they're the only ones making them right now, but uh, yeah. Turkey Tetrazzini. And everybody knows these are a bitch, so let's try it out. Oh, oh yeah, that's what happens. Okay. Okay. Let's shut the camera off here. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good, okay? There's just this little tiny freaking tab. I'll open it with my teeth before I use a knife, though. Probably. No, that's just tearing through. Okay, this is bad. Fuck. I think Jordan rigged this on me. We're just gonna keep tearing away. There, got the whole top off. Nothing open. Boom. Took a couple minutes for bark, but we got it. What's in here? Vegetable crackers, a chocolate flavor for a strike bar, tropical punch, Irish cream cappuccino, chocolate peanut spread, spoon, turkey tetrazzini. And for accessories, you got gum matches, toilet paper, coffee creamer, all the regular stuff. We're not using 16 ounces of hot water. Don't try and rip this open. I think that was Sticky Fingers made a mess of his one time, I think. About that hiss. Nice. Since you all know I like to follow the rules, we're putting the entire 16 ounces in here. If you can hear me over the crunch in here. Use our clip, burn your fingers, just mix it around. A little bit. So we made our Irish cream cappuccino. Good guy out there. Um, with cold water, and when I say cold, it's room temperature water. I don't keep my water in the fridge. So cold drinks are always just room temperature, but that's fine by me. 
it's just as good cold as it is hot tropical punch let's see if it's got that greasy shit on the top as it usually does it doesn't but it's got those floaty things you only really get those floaties with these and it's in like every flavor the lemon one's really bad yeah just came up through uh pennsylvania new york um where covid19 is like crazy happening there's signs up everywhere going into any rest area um service plaza sort of thing truck stops if you're not wearing a mask you're not allowed in I do what I want typically so I walked right in and about half the people are actually wearing masks and Jesse Michael if you're watching I apologize because I just saw your post on Facebook and yeah I'm that guy I'm part of the problem but uh it's the way it is so yeah like even this loves truck stop in Illinois go in there and uh there, there was like three kids wearing the face masks. All the employees except the manager was wearing face masks. A lot of people I find are wearing a face mask to cover their mouth, but not their nose. I think you guys are part of the problem too, because what in the hell are you doing covering your mouth and not your nose? Unless you got toilet paper stuck up there. I don't know, but yeah, pretty crazy out there. Made it through, still haven't worn a mask. And I really don't plan on it. I'm uh, pretty certain I had this shit before. So I'm not gonna put this chocolate spread on the vegetable crackers because I really like the vegetable crackers on their own and or in Turkey Tetrazzini. Um, I know a lady at home who's dying to try this stuff out. So I'm gonna keep this aside. And when she does her uh, fettuccine review, um, maybe she can crack into this too. So please forgive me on that. We'll get into those crackers right away. Oh, let's see what the date is. 8123. So yeah, she's 2018. Very fresh. Yep. And I did that over by the camera instead of by the microphone. So you probably didn't hear it, but it was pretty nice. Yes. Pretty decent hiss. I should do that dry ass cracker challenge with these. Bet you it's not as bad as vegetable crackers. Yeah, and they come out real nice. And then lastly, we got our first strike bar. Um, a lot of mixed feelings on these for most people. I hate the mocha one. Mocha is absolutely disgusting. I don't like anything mocha except for actual like coffee and hot chocolate. That's fine. But when you make a coffee chocolate flavored anything, I typically don't like it. But this is chocolate. We're going to be good. Probably won't eat it all tonight. Save that for breakfast tomorrow or something. Smells good. I actually really liked these in the beginning when I first got into rations and stuff. And uh, mm. cran raspberry and apple cinnamon I still really enjoy. Um, but the chocolate's just kind of... I don't know. You guys know what I mean. How long is this supposed to sit? Smitty, leave a comment. No matter how you do it, no matter how I do it, I get dry chunks in it. That sounds... Ah! Fucker. That sounds pretty damn soupy in there still. I guess the first thing we're going to try, we'll get into this Irish... Cream? Cappuccino? Whatever it is. That's good stuff. I always put way too much water. Like I put foam coal. Um, yeah, I always put like a lot more water than you normally should. It's fine though. It's, it's uh, got plenty of flavor to pass around. I guess we'll try our vegetable crackers on their own. Just like a... Oh... You know those ones you get at the store. They're in a yellow box. I don't know. They're the same thing. Mm. 
it's like uh oh 50 degrees out here it's around 10 10 celsius and there's a guy not from here um wearing a real heavy parka but he's got his face mask on I'm thinking it's a lot hotter where he's from but anyway i get a kick seeing that um yeah vegetable fins is that what they're called something like that exact same thing love them these aren't salted though who cares go ahead and wash that down with some fruit punch sweet can keep me up all night make me hyper Notice my energy level's a little bit higher tonight. I shotgunned a sweet and condensed milk just before I got to the border because it's feeling a little uh, feeling a little down. I uh, hadn't eaten yet today. Maybe that's still lasting. That was like two hours ago. Anyway. We're going to go in for our dessert. First strike bar. Oh, yeah. I forgot how uh, how hard they are to eat. Very, very firm. Get that bite, and then you got to chew for hours. If it wasn't for that, if these were a little more soft, easier to eat, I think I'd like them a hell of a lot better. Several minutes later. Production date, 8089. 640 calories. 21 grams of fat. 1880 milligrams of sodium total carbs 62 fiber 3 sugar 14 protein 37 i normally don't care about this i just people find it shocking about the sodium level one meal one part of one meal 78 percent yeah so we're just gonna get that dumped out i'm not waiting any longer because i'm hungry Last time it overflowed the plate, all over the floor. Ah, oh, looks like crap. Oh, there's a big dry part in the middle. How does that happen? Shit. This is why you stir them. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. Yeah, okay, we're gonna dump it on the tray, plate, and bust it all up from there. Beyond. This is what I mean. Yep, look at that big ball of dried up stuff. So we got beans, we got peppers, there's rice, I think. Nope, noodles. Turkey in there somewhere. Lots and lots of liquid. Good stuff. This is definitely turkey tetrazzini soup. Maybe that's why I like crackers with it. Can you see it? I don't want to move it away from the damn plate here. Fuck. All right, try it this way. Beans, turkey, noodles, gravy, crazy hot. I really don't know how long that sat for. I really don't know how long it's supposed to sit for. I think like 10 minutes. still pretty crunchy I got this stuff all over this is so good tastes like Christmas dinner but in that form and a little crunchy let's try it with the vegetable crackers yeah that's a good one Menu number four, meal cold weather, turkey tetrazzini, my favorite. A couple other ones are good. Um, I don't like any of the breakfast MCWs, but uh, by far number one favorite. I bought a lot of these. Get them on eBay, like in packs of four or whatever. Yeah, I'm the guy that's been buying all those up. Yeah, so I'm gonna finish this off 
and try and sleep while having all this damn sugar in me. Thanks for coming, everybody. We'll see you next time.